make you pay me before I leave this bitch. Dude, don't touch him. Hey, 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 hey. What's going on? Why don't you come around and talk to me like a man, big boy with your earrings? What the f you looking at it all stupid folk, bitch? You can read. A customer, having received his chain, returns after noticing an issue. I just got this chain out the pawn shop. I noticed it was some bends in my links on the chain. And it wasn't like that when I pawned. So you already left the store with it. How do I know you didn't mess it up from here to there? Why didn't you check it out when I handed it to you? However, his excuse doesn't sound convincing. I must have smashed you something on me top take it out of the envelope. To. Once it leaves the store, there's nothing I can do. Y'all about to have to fix my before I go. Straight up. Man, I don't think so. I'm going to make you pay me before I leave this bitch. I don't think that's going to happen. Threats are made prompting security to step in. Are y'all gonna send y'all to your ass security now? All y'all security some is in this bitch. Oh yeah? The off me, Chad. Lucky I don't uppercut your ass. They proceed to escort him out, but more than words are exchanged. Middle of the mall chain right here, man. You say middle of the mall. Dude, don't touch him. Back up, you're good, y'all. Oh ass walking though. Next up, we have a very weird customer in the shop. Uh, I don't know what y'all doing over here. There's some mother in the refrigerator. I don't know what the he's doing. There's some mother in there. So I'm over here checking out the TV, and I just watched some mother come in here. Open it up. What the are you doing? I was checking out the refrigerator. The situation seems very suspicious to Les. They wait until the store closes, and then they rob the place. I was thinking about buying. What are we gonna do, rob us? Oh no. Hey, 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 hey! going on? Hey, man, it's a nice fish writer. Security promptly throws him out with no mercy. Get the f out of here. Come on, man. So you're right now, you take another step, it's gonna be your last step of walk. Next, a gentleman is looking to retrieve his item. Kind of pick up my stuff here. Pawned in four earrings. Did you know this ticket says Paula Montgomery? No. Don't be starting a bunch of mess, because I done pawned in four earrings. I know what I pawned in. Your name is not coming up in the computer. Encountering an issue where Seth steps in. My name is on the ticket. Paula Karen. Is that you? Uh, yes. That's you, Mr. Anthony Paula Karen. Man, I want my earrings. Give me your ticket. There's a ticket right there. I brought four earrings in here, and I want when? four earrings when? back. When? Seth, unwilling to tolerate his attitude, takes matters into his own hands. Why don't you people? Ain't this a pawn shop? Why don't you come around and talk to me like a man, big boy with your earring? Where is my earring? Better get my earring. Or else what? Security is present to put a stop to the situation. Uh, don't be putting on me. Uh uh. Hold, hold, hold. God from her, man. Don't be putting your hands on me. Mind your own damn business. You want some of this? Yeah, you're on my property. What you want, big boy? Man, don't be coming up behind me. Or else. Don't let this little fat short ass fool you. You got one thing, right? Two ladies walk in and seek some information. I went in to check on my son's pawn ticket. He pawned my mom's ring. No, I don't have a ticket with me. His name? Nathan Turner. Yeah, it's not here. Nah, oh, this got this some bull. He pawned a ten thousand dollar ring. That's the only thing that I had left from her when she passed. It's got to be somewhere. Les is nearby and intervenes. I mean, is the manager there? Somebody? Cause I need to find out where that ring is. Problem is, he's got nothing in pawn. He wouldn't lie to us and say he brought it. So your mind stupid? What the? on your mind, stupid. The customer oversteps, but Les stays calm. Okay, let me tell you something. Go get the ticket. We'll be waiting for you. Thank you. As Les advised, they return, but again, there is an issue. Bam! That's my ticket, and I find my ring. This isn't our ticket. What the f*** you looking at it all? Stupid folk, bitch, you can read. Ticket is a counterfeit ticket. No, bitch, I want none of this I'm I'm bitch. I'm on the ring. mother ring, and if you ain't got it, come the f*** from behind this glass so I can whoop your ass. I'll whoop his ass. I don't give a f***. I'll discriminate, bitch. I drove all the way home to get that ticket. It's not our ticket. What the f*** is the issue? The issue is this is a counterfeit ticket. Threats are made, and Les has had enough. Now, f*** this Bet you y'all gonna pay me for this $10,000 ring. Of course we are. I will be back with my attorney. Y'all full of I'll be happy to show them how I know it's a bullshit ticket. Rich is dealing with a client who is not happy about the policy. Why should I have to pay you anything extra just because I don't have my receipt? Don't make sense. Policy is it right. Now I'm saying you got my money, but I don't want to pay you any extra. Bring me the receipt. Bring so me the receipt. Something. Rich tries to be helpful, but he seems to not understand. 
Either I'm going to charge you an extra dollar or you're so going to bring you me the receipt take back. My dollar. You're taking the dollar from me by trickery. You never said to me, if you don't have your receipt, it will cost you a dollar. Plus a dollar service charge for not having your receipt. All you need to do is bring us in the receipt. You should have said that verbally to me. So you're going to say, F me as a customer that have been buying for you for 10, 12 years. That's policy. All right, take the dollar and I don't want to do no more business with you. I apologize. All right. He gets agitated over everything just for a dollar. I know you don't give a f because you make enough money. As much f as I don't buy from you. Sir, you know how many customers when, we have? Hey, when, when loan me a dollar, then. Give me a dollar. I'm going to give you the dollar so that you just understand. Mm -hmm. If you don't have your receipt, it's a dollar. Now I understand. See, because you said something to me. And it's not just a dollar. It's, 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 it's just a principle. A couple walks in in need of money. Um, we are here to sell a watch. It was actually a gift for my birthday. See, the problem is, it really doesn't have any value. I wouldn't be interested in it. Not even gonna offer nothing on it? At new, they probably were 25 bucks. Can't even pawn it for anything. What do you give me on pawn? Nothing, there's no value. Les gives him an option, but he crosses the line. I couldn't get $10 if I tried to sell it. Definitely get more than $10. Try selling your stuff to somebody in the store. I'll let you keep the money, how's that? you. Wait, is it me or you. No, here's the way it works. You. Get the out of my store. Make me get the out. He gets agitated, and Ashley is there to show him his place. Sir, he already told you he was not going to take it. You're making an ass out of yourself. It's not his problem that your watch isn't worth anything. It, why, why are you buttoning into because what we're his talking about? Who the f you are? Security makes sure he is shown outside. Get the f out of here. Who the f are you going? Don't touch me, man. <laughs> you and this whole place. Three customers are in the store and they have an issue. I just bought these speakers right. last Friday. Like he test them out right there. And they were working. But it looked like they was working. Once he checked out both speakers. And so now you're here to do what? Return them. Seth wants to help, but they are missing a critical thing. Well, I just need to see the receipt to see how long ago it was. Oh, wait, I don't have the receipt at all. Washington, my jeans. There's really nothing I can do for you. There's no return policy on them. Just I'm not giving you no receipt. I just told you. Okay, pretty much. Can I get some money back? Uh, I'll buy the box for 10 bucks. They come to an agreement, but look for a way to make more. I paid 85 for these. Give me the receipt. That's no 15. 10. No, I want 15. Okay, then I can't help you. No, so, uh, you so want 10 bucks? Yeah, 10 bucks. Some things. I just bought some speakers here. Huh? They walk over to me. They trust my opinion more than Seth. Les makes it clear they are not getting anything else. Okay, I knew I won't get all my money back. Do you have your receipt? No. I resolve it in 20 seconds. They end up leaving. I'm older, I'm wiser, and probably the best looking guy in this whole store. A producer in the making walks into the store. Uh, looking for some music equipment, man. How much you want to give me this for? No, just this, this, this use. How much you want for the beat maker? This one right here, 300. Bull this is you. It appears this customer has forgotten where he is. Oh, I got scratches on him. Seriously? Seriously. You want this one right here? Give you both of these right here, 250. I get 150 for it. I'm not interested. 150 right now. Are you listening? I'm playing your intelligence. Play my intelligence. This is what I do for a living, brother. You ain't doing it right. Rich is not going to tolerate this behavior. I want to cash that out right now. You said Fordin? I I'm not interested in helping you out anymore. I get my box? No. Just accept my <laughs> money. Boop. I'm moving. I need my box. I You're moving. My box. Things begin to go south as security approaches. You a bitch for that. Come back in this mother. You and come won't come back. Box. Next up, we have a lady trying to get a divorce. I'm about to leave my husband cash my ring in. There he is. My husband about to get. Up. Ashley tries to help, but it seems this customer has already made up her mind. And we'll draw that out there and put that in the gas tank and close this account. I'll call my husband in order to get some money. He didn't want to give it to me. What he happened? Girl, get out of my business. After hearing the offer, things begin to take a toll for the worse. We're going to do 180 for you. What'd you say? I know I can get a whole bunch of thousands for that because I paid a whole lot of thousands for that. Don't ask me nothing. No, f your husband and make your ass like it, bitch. It appears that this lady has a very different way of making threats. She on, I go f you. right in the place and make that bitch like, where's your daddy at? He lives. I would f him too if I probably already then did. My husband ain't work in that ring. A customer with an attitude walks into the store. Give me this car and I'm about to school y'all. She exceeded the 90 day limit. Her laptop was here for six months. We ended up selling it. More than words are said as this lady doesn't know when to stop. But I'm gonna have the last laugh. My name gonna be on top of this bitch. I don't give a damn about no security. That's not a threat. Don't touch me. Please, Please don't. Just two days later, this lady is back. 
you need ID. So this is you doing this again today? On 102307, you said do not give your merchandise to anybody except you with ID. We're doing exactly what you asked us to do. They didn't give you anything yesterday. Yes, okay, seven. I want to call the police up here. Then. Please do. Things escalate as Les is still trying to help. I ain't giving you jewelry and loan, please. Can you send the police up here? Greenfield and Lodge. South of 8 Mile. You don't shut up talking to me and get hell out my face. Okay. Les makes sure the customer is escorted out. And while she's outside, then they can wait for the police. You want to be a star too? No. You want to be a star too? No, I can't get myself up. Don't believe she called, and I know the police never showed up. Don't wait for the police. Next up, security offers to enforce store policy to a couple of customers. Okay. I ain't got some nice stuff to spend my money over here. I ain't, I ain't, I'm, I'm, I'm having fun. I'm buying. I'm not talking to you. No, I'm talking to you. It's time to go. I'm gonna talk, mother. I'm gonna talk to mother. Things begin to escalate as words are thrown. Can't talk to me like I'm in the Well, you ain't gonna say nothing else to me. Okay, all right. Well, I got that out the door. Do what you gotta do. Fortunately, things don't go too far. You smelling it? Yeah. Smell pretty? I mean, it's not a lie. That doesn't mean it doesn't have a scent. The situation gets even weirder. You can't tell. My dad was a hunter. Are you interested in buying her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Salmon, don't you? Oh, we got kids this road, yeah. Ashley offers a price. Well, I don't know if I'm feeling her for $1,500. How about $1,300? We can make a deal. Definitely need a better deal than $1,300. Even after Ashley lowers the price, he doesn't think it is good enough. I just, I'm not feeling this. I'm sorry. I feel like someone else is supposed to have her. I you was, were really feeling it. We're not feeling it. I gotta walk. There's this guy who believes he is evil. They call me the devil. The ex signifies that I'm marked forever as the beast. Seth and Les are more intrigued by the guy's persona than the deal he's proposing. That's some freaky shit there, boy. Let me tell you. Yeah. How long did it take you to get all these tattoos? Probably 2,000 years. Finally got to meet somebody that's older than my dad. So how can I help you today? He reveals what he wants to sell. I want to get rid of this gold. I don't want gold. I want money. Money's the root of all evil. How much you want? Tell me what you give me. How about 500? Can't do it. But the devil isn't pleased. 650. You want 610? I'll take 650. I can't give it to you. In the end, Les doesn't go through with the deal, keeping his soul safe. I guess we don't have a deal. Two guys walk into the store and start loading up on stuff they think they'll need when something really bad happens. I was looking at the chainsaws over here. We have chainsaws. You make us a deal on both of them? 250 for both. What about the nail gun you got sitting around the corner? Show me. How many nail guns you want? He's four. Four or five. Yeah, yeah definitely some golf clubs. Want some golf clubs? How much for all? 125 hours with the crowbar. That sounds pretty good to me. Les is curious about what they're up to. So what's all this stuff for? Home defense. Is that what the zombie on, apocalypse is uh, coming. I'm sorry? The zombie apocalypse is coming. The zombie apocalypse is coming. It's coming. I, I'm pretty sure. These guys believe a zombie apocalypse is coming, and they're buying everything they can to get ready for it. All kinds of signs. Weather's changing. Meteors falling from the sky. Even though Les knows they might be imagining things, he's happy because it still means he's making money. Now, I got another thing here. This is a lantern in case it's night. Do they come out during the day? Both. Both. I'll give you the whole package, everything including 800 bucks altogether. Plus, watch bands, two bucks a piece. How many you want? Four. Four of them. So we're at 808 now. Got it? Sounds good. Thank you very much. I think we got a pretty good zombie kit today. Cut off some zombie heads and nail them to the floor. Standing in line, we have two ladies arguing. Line. No, I told you I didn't want to come to some mother <laughs> Every time I, we go somewhere, you gotta stop. Look, bitch, <laughs> hands is <laughs> done for tomorrow. Ashley approaches the two ladies, trying to grab their attention. Why the fuck you always motherfucking ask me to grab with your stupid ass? Yeah. What the fuck you want? Shush my ass. What the hell you want? Security was ready, but not needed. Yeah, it's very inappropriate. There's kids around here. Why do yeah. the mother yeah. bring the kids up in the pawn shop anyway? In the end, the two ladies leave on their own. Oh, bitch, if I fall, I think I got a lawyer, mother. 
trying to kiss my ass. How about that? Is it considered waiting in the line if the store isn't opened yet? Well, perhaps it is for this customer, as he promptly begins complaining to Ashley upon arrival. I'm finally here, you know what I mean? I've been in the land for like two hours. We haven't even been open for two hours. We was like an hour and a half. We went on 11 in the clock, and y'all's been open since 9 30. Wait, I can't understand with all this swearing. I can't understand because you're listening too slow. You listen fast, and you can hear everything I say. Things escalate rapidly as the language used by the customer is not appreciated by Ashley. What is this? This ain't what he told me he was gonna give me. What did he tell you he was gonna give you? Oh, hang out. My guys in the front don't mess up. When we quote your price, we quote your price. You know Sir. what, see, you the type of mother I've been caught outside and cracked you upside your mother head. It becomes evident that this customer is simply looking for trouble. Don't I'd rather you talk ever. To this I would rather talk Correct. to this lady. Tell you know, listen here, I'm going to go out Friday. Go out Friday. You're going to talk to me you with some respect. You're you're respect. I got more women on the street out here hustling, doing things for me every night, every day. Despite his claim to run the streets, security ensures that this customer finds himself outside. Touch me. I swear to God, it's going to be some repercussions. How y'all going to put me up out this mother Man. I know you're just doing your job, big dog, but I drive my with BMW, man. If you was a pimp in the pie shop, well, maybe it's time to upgrade your bitches. Thank you for watching. And as always, like and subscribe for more content.